Welcome back to A Recent Grads Adventures. I have a jam-packed episode featuring car camping in Moab, Utah with two national parks, a state park, and so much more. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Really exciting episode of A Recent Grads Adventures. I am on my way right now to Moab for the very first time ever. I'm about two hours into the three hour drive from Salt Lake City down to Moab. Like I said, it's gonna be my first time there. I'm gonna be doing some camping, some hiking, and yeah, pretty pumped up about it. So I'm glad to take you guys along with me. I hope you enjoy it too. Now I'm probably not gonna get there before the sun sets, but I wanna show you the colors right now while I can in the view. Hopefully that camera's picking that up, but it's really pretty out here. Well guys, made it to the campsite here. Just need to set up my bed. I have some chicken marinating right now. I'm gonna start dinner here soon. It's completely dark. I don't know if you can tell outside. Just need a place to sleep tonight. Found a good campsite that'll work for now, so. Good morning. Wow, it got pretty cold last night. Probably around 25-ish degrees, but I slept pretty comfortably actually. But today's the first full day here in Moab, so I'm gonna get it start with making a little hot chocolate to warm myself up and a little bit of breakfast, and then we're gonna get on the road. Alright, already dug in, but eggs and bacon going right here. Camping food is just the best. Man, I couldn't see any of this when I was driving in last night because it was dark out, but check this out. So honestly, I have no real plans for this trip. Um, I know I want to see Canyonlands and Arches and maybe Dead Horse State Park, but just kind of going with the flow. So I pulled off at this viewpoint here as I was driving along in Canyonlands. Look at this behind me. No service out here, so uh, we're navigating the old-fashioned way by road signs and this convenient map I got from the the entrance. So I am looking for Mesa Arch, and maybe I'll get down to Grand View Point Overlook. We'll see. So I made it to the arch. It's actually pretty cool right down there. But honestly, these views are just even more stunning. Look at that, that's just insane. 
doing the Grand View Overlook hike now. Mesa Arch is pretty short, so I figured I'd squeeze in another at Canyonlands before I head out. This one I think is only about two miles, so it shouldn't be too long either. Beautiful views out there. Very nice hike, and just amazing. So cool. Um, side note for all you real quick. I, my five-year-old cousin who lives in Wisconsin, where I grew up and stuff, his class in school has been doing this thing, um, basically focused around spreading kindness. So my aunt reached out to me, his mother, to do an act of kindness in Utah and fill out this little sheet and send it back to them. So I've been kind of on a mission today to find something nice to do for someone. So my cousin Jay spent some time holding the door open before his swimming lessons at the local YMCA. I'm trying to spread the kindness out here in Utah for him so they can have a new state checked off their list. And I actually just did that. I took a picture for a couple out here, was talking to them for a little bit, super nice. They also took a picture for me in return. It's just kind of cool to see how this kindness can go full circle. So. Hope my younger cousin loves that and just kind of a cool story I wanted to show with you guys. I think that's a really cool project the teacher is doing, just trying to put a little more kindness into the world. As you could probably tell by the videos, I'm now at Dead Horse State Park. Just really cool to see that river bending around that turn. It's just a really famous spot to see and I'm glad I got to do it too. Um, it's also right near Arches and Canyonland so it wasn't too far out of the way. Seeing as I paid 20 bucks to get into Dead Horse State Park, I was, might as well make it worth it having some lunch here before I head out. So, getting my money's worth. After a bit of driving, I stopped at Moab for a couple sweets. Got some ice cream and a truffle. I'm gonna walk around the city and explore a little bit too, so we'll see what's out here. Well, didn't stay in Moab very long actually. Was planning on going to the brewery, but decided to skip that. I am doing my last little adventure of the day, hiking to Corona and Bowtie Arch. So, pretty famous arches around here, but actually not inside the National Park. You can go to these for free, which is pretty cool. So, I will show you what these look like when I get there.
while. I soaked in the views for a while, but time to go find a campsite for the night now and make some dinner. So we'll see you guys at a campsite soon, hopefully. All right, now that I'm at my site, let me show you what I do to set this up. So my seats are already pushed all the way forward. I have those two posts there. This is folded up, so I basically just need to unfold it. So then I put these screws through there. You see? And then that will go into the post, which supports it. That one over there is already done. Now, just gotta put the mattress down and make the bed. And there you have it. climbed into bed, ready to turn in here real soon. I slept pretty good last night. Tonight I made one change. I cracked my windows slightly because it got pretty condensated in here. And I don't know if this is just me hoping, but I think it'll be actually warmer with the windows cracked because that condensated air felt like heavy and wet and it got colder, I think. So we'll let you know tomorrow if this helps at all by cracking the windows slightly, but Got my sleeping bag, my couple blankets, and yeah, hopefully I'll stay warm, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's about 7.15ish. The sun's coming up. I want to get out there, make some breakfast, have some hot chocolate again, then get on the road to Arches National Park. Uh, I slept pretty good last night. I only woke up once to go to the bathroom. Got kind of cold again this morning, but I think opening the windows a little bit actually helped. Honestly, I don't know if it was that. Maybe it was a little bit warmer in temperature. I did have one more layer on tonight too, so it could have been a combination of all three, but stayed pretty warm, so that's good. But yeah, let's get some breakfast going. beautiful spot to have my breakfast. That's why you see the rough roads we're dealing with out on these campsites. We are now heading to Arches National Park. I'll see you there. I made it. The delicate arched trailhead parking was full though, so I'm only going to a viewpoint, but I'll show you a little compilation of everything I see in Arches National Park.
was beautiful. You know, I'm in the windows area right now and you can just see there's an arch over there. There's one way over there too. Just stunning, but I think I'm gonna end the video here. About to head back on that long three hour drive. There is one thing left to do though, and I will take you guys there first. But with that, thanks again for watching another episode of A Recent Grad's Adventures. Like the video, it would help me out a ton. And subscribe too if you wanna see more. But I'll see you guys next time.